There are three types of data structures, which are stacks, queues, and binary trees. They each have certain algorithms that you have to learn for the exam, such as how to add or delete data from the data structure. Starting with stacks, they are last in first out or LIFO structures. So you could imagine pouring water into a jug, filling it up from bottom to top. When you pour out the water, water from the top of the jug comes out first. In a stack, it has a single pointer which points to the next available space in the stack. The stack is numbered upwards from one. So if the stack is empty, the pointer is set to null. In the exam, it may ask you how to insert data into a stack. For example, write an algorithm to insert one data item to a stack. This may be a full marker. The steps for insertion are, check to see if the stack is full. If it is, report an error and stop. If it's not full, insert the new data to where the pointer is pointed to. Increment the pointer up by one and stop. Equally in the exam, it may ask you how to remove or read data from a stack. For example, write an algorithm to pop a data from a stack. This again may be a full marker. The steps for deletion are, check to see if the stack is empty. If it is, report an error and stop. If it's not empty, copy the data that the pointer is pointing to. Move the pointer down and stop. Note that the data isn't actually deleted from the data structure. It's only marked as deleted using brackets. Data can now be overwritten on this cell. Queues are the exact opposite to stacks. They are first in, first out, or FIFO structures. So you could imagine a physical queue as the first people that line up in the queue are allowed to go in first. Queues have two pointers, one called the head pointer, which points to the next available space similar to the pointer in the stack, and the other pointer is called the tail pointer, which points to the cell of the first data. Similarly to stacks, an exam could ask you for the insertion and deletion of data in a queue. The steps for insertion are, check to see if the queue is full. If it is, report an error and stop. If it's not full, insert the new data to where the head pointer is pointing to. Then move the pointer down and stop. The steps for deletion are, check to see if the queue is empty. If it is, report an error and stop. If it's not empty, then copy the data pointed by the tail pointer. Increment the tail pointer and stop. Another question in exam could be the following. State the conditions of the pointers when the queue is empty. This could be for one mark. The answer is that both pointers point to the same cell or location. The last type of data structure is called a binary tree, which looks like this. Data will be stored according to its alphabetical order. In the exam, adding data to a binary tree may be a six marker. The steps for adding data to a binary tree are, if the tree is empty, enter the first data item at the root. Compare the new data with the current data. If the new data is less than the current data, follow the left pointer, else follow the right pointer. Repeat this step until the pointer is null. Enter the new data, and then create pointers for the new data. Similarly, you may be asked to delete data from a binary tree, which is more complex than the steps in a stack or a queue. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to simply mark the data as deleted in brackets, so the structure stays as it is, but the value is not read when the tree is searched through. The second way is to set the root of the value you wish to remove, then store all the values underneath it in a different data structure, such as a stack or a queue. Then, insert the values back in the tree after removing the chosen value. Lastly in the exam, it may ask you to draw a binary tree like the following example. To do this, the tree needs to have a root which is always the first data. Therefore, in this case, it is orange. Then you need to check if red is greater or smaller than orange. As R is greater than O, you place red on the right side. Continue this for the rest of the data and you should end up with the following.